In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the five little baby kittens that I rescued from a back alley of a bunch of restaurants. What I'm going to be doing with those little kitties is I'm going to be giving them their first ever bath. We are going to put the baby in in three, two. Do we have a tick? <gasps> What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. So guys, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the five little baby kittens that I rescued from a back alley of a bunch of restaurants. Guys, if you haven't seen that video and you want to check it out right now, then what are you waiting for? It is going to be linked in the description down below. Now guys, for today's video, what I'm going to be doing with those little kitties is I'm going to be giving them their first ever bath. Now guys, you're probably thinking that cats do not like the water, so why am I giving them a bath? Now cats usually don't like the water, but if you introduce them at an early age to the water, they will actually get used to it when they're older and possibly actually enjoy baths as they get older, and that also goes for puppies. So if you introduce these little babies when they are really, really young, they will get used to the water and actually like it when they're older. So what I'm gonna do is before I head and give these babies a bath, I need to set everything up for these little babies. So let's go. So guys, before I head and go get the little kitties to give them their first bath, I have to set everything up. Guys, if you look right here, I already did that. So I got the towel for drying these little babies off. I have the baby shampoo for bathing these cute little babies. And I also have a flea and tick comb to make sure these babies have no fleas or ticks. And I have a little nail trimmer because these babies have never had their little nails trimmed. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go get the little babies to bathe them. And guys, here are the five little baby rescued kittens. So we have three calicos and two little black ones. Now the three calicos are three girls and the two black ones are two boys. Now I have them in the cage so they're not running around and making a mess out of the entire bathroom, guys. So I'm just gonna grab this little guy right here and you're gonna be the first one to get a bath, buddy. All right, guys, so this is the first little kitty that we are going to bathe. Now, as the water is getting nice and warm, because it has to be the perfect temperature so it's not too hot or not too cold for these little babies, I just wanted to point something out right here. So if you look, guys, right here, you can see that this little baby still has some of its ringworm. So we are going to give this baby a nice little bath, clean it up, and put this medicine on it right here. Now, this is the medicine that the Humane Society has prescribed me. So we have to make sure that this ringworm is completely gone before these babies get adopted. So guys, the water is ready. So we are going to put the baby in in three, two, one. Oh my goodness. So guys, what I like to do is I like to support the kitten just like this and kind of hold her between my fingers. And it does not hurt him. It just supports him so I can hold him and not get his head wet. And if I just place some soap right here, we're going to make sure this baby does not have fleas. Whoa, that was a lot. So we're just gonna rub this little boy up, make sure he is nice and soapy. And what I like to do to get their stomach is I hold them just like this. Now this does not hurt them. The mom actually holds them like this. And guys, do we have a tick? <gasps> so guys, I thought this was a tick, but it must have been some little thing that was just on his fur. So I'm just gonna rinse it in the water and continue bathing this baby. Alright guys, so we finished bathing this little guy and honestly, he looks like a little rat. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to dry him off just a little bit and then we are going to check and take the flea and tick comb and make sure that this little guy does not have any fleas. So guys, now that we got the fur of the little kitten nice and, you know, damp, what you want to do when you are looking for fleas or ticks is you always want to take the comb and go against the hair. Now, if there were fleas or ticks, they would be all along right here where you can see the fur because this comb is super tiny. It just picks them up like a vacuum, guys. This comb is highly recommended if you have an infestation of ticks or fleas on your animals. And guys, you'll usually see them crawling around or stuck in the water, but I... I honestly think this baby is free of fleas and ticks. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to get this little baby nice and dry and we are going to trim his nails because guys, his nails are a little long and a little dirty. So what you want to do is you want to grab their little foot just like this and you're just going to apply a little pressure 
to the actual toe, which makes the nail pop out. And all you wanna do is just cut the little tip. Now, if you go too deep, you know what can actually happen? Is their nail will actually start bleeding. Now, since we do not want that, you don't wanna go too far to the base of the nail. Now, if you look right here, if this little guy will let me, you can see that the base of the nail is right there. It gets really, really thick. So all you wanna do is cut the tip just like this, and you don't have to cut it too far in. And there you have it. You cut little kitty nails just fine. And don't forget this little nail right up here. They have four nails right here and one all the way up there. Guys, if you look right here, we have both sides trimmed. Now, the last thing I wanna do with this little baby is I wanna add more stuff of some of this treatment right here, which is myconazole. So all I'm gonna do to the little ringworm area, is I'm gonna find it and I'm just gonna go just like this. So this ringworm is gone for good. So guys, we have the second little kitty right here and I have grabbed a little calico. Now guys, I don't know about you, but this color on a cat is actually my favorite. I am just totally obsessed with the tricolor and calico cats. I mean, who wouldn't want to adopt a baby like this? Now guys, if you have been following the channel and when I rescue them, you will know that this little baby had ringworm on her head right here. Now guys, it has healed so, so well. So we won't need to be adding any myconazole treatment to her ringworm. All we're gonna do is we're gonna bathe her, we're gonna trim her nails and make sure she has no fleas or ticks. This little baby has finished her bath it is time to dry her up guys another thing i want to mention with this little baby is she actually had a ringworm on her chest she had two patches one here and one here and guys you can see that it has healed completely now that that medicine is literally a miracle worker now we have calico number two right here. And now this little girl had really bad ringworm right here. Now her fur was completely gone on her whole side of her foot and her skin was showing. Now that little medicine completely healed it and all of her fur has grown back. Now guys, I am going to bathe the last little calico girl. Now guys, this has to be my favorite out of all three calicos. I mean, her patterns on her face are just so, so gorgeous, guys. And she is just one little curious baby. And just look, look how big those eyes are. You're so cute. Guys, with this little girl, she has some ringworm on her foot still. If you can see right here, you can see that the fur is growing back, but we're going to put some more medicine after we give her a bath so it is completely gone. All right, guys, so I am just going to... Ah! You got soap on your head! So now that this little girl has taken a bath, her nails are trimmed, it is time to treat her ringworm with the medication. So all I'm gonna do is, where did it go? It's right here, okay. So I'm just gonna put about a couple drops. And guys, that should be perfect. It is nice and soaked in the myconazole. So I'm gonna put her back and we're gonna bathe the last little kitty. So guys, we are about to bathe the last little kitty. Now you can see that he is just so much bigger than his siblings. He is just the giant of the group. He is a lot bigger and he has so, so much fur. So now I'm just gonna give him a bath 
and clean him up. Guys, now that I started bathing him and you know, petting through his fur, you can see that this guy is gonna be a shepherd. That is just some serious fur right there. So guys, now that these babies are all nice and clean, they're absolutely just having a blast playing around the bathroom in here. But this this little girl's a little scared. What are you doing? Oh, are you playing with your little brothers and sisters? Are you scared to get out? Come on. Come here. Let me see if she'll attack. I get my hand. Okay, little girl. I tried. I tried. Are you scared of my finger? I don't hurt you. Don't let me get on my finger. Play with me <gasps> guys they are just so playful right now they are absolutely just losing their mind running around the room what are you doing are you taking cover what are you doing you guys are so crazy does that feel nice do you like when i scratch your little booty like that now guys this little baby is completely enjoying this i mean just look how adorable is that so nice oh my goodness you're too cute all right guys so i'm just gonna hang out with these little babies right here the three little girls are just so so sleepy and the little black and white boys are just running rampant around the room guys so i'm just gonna relax with them but guys if you enjoyed today's video give this video a big thumbs up comment down below what you thought about bathing these cute little babies and if you want to see these guys in more videos and other animals then subscribe to the first link down below